What's up YouTube? Just picked this beautiful 2001, or no, it's a 2002 uh, MDX up for $1,200. This is gonna be the new family vehicle. Cause we got baby number two on the way, so we had to get more room. The little Camry isn't cutting it anymore. They had bad enough with just one car seat in there. So, got this three row thing here. Reason why I got it so cheap was because the alternator bracket was broken. And the lady who sold it really didn't know anything about that. So, she let it go dirt cheap. She thought the engine was, uh, what do you call it? She thought the engine was dying or something was wrong with it, you know, because it was, when you, when you don't have no power from the alternator, you know, you, of course, your car is really weak and all that. Driving like it's about to cut off really bad and idling really rough and everything is dim on the dashboard and all that. So she didn't know what to do. You know, it's got a little bit of miles on it. You know, it's pushing 300, but I mean, these things pretty much run forever if you take care of them. So she didn't know what to do. She didn't want to go to a shop and she had a couple other cars anyway. So I got it dirt cheap because I can fix all this stuff myself with ease. I just went to the junkyard, got a new bracket that holds the alternator bolt tight. Got a new belt for it too. I gotta replace this belt. I have it in the glove box, the power steering belt, because that belt right there broke, the alternator belt, and it was rubbing against this belt and causing this one to shred really bad. So I gotta replace that one too. I got a bunch to do actually. I'm gonna take care of some oil leaks and all that. Of course, typical Honda stuff, you know, valve cover gaskets leaking, tube seals leaking, all that stuff. Motor mounts cracked, probably. Typical Honda stuff, but these engine transmissions are pretty solid if you take care of them. Chain time and belt every 100,000 miles. Do your transmission fluid changes every 30,000 miles and all that, you know. You'll be good to go. Yeah, it's pretty brown. I'm going to go ahead and do that, too. Get it all back to health and in good shape. Because I love these cars. <sighs> But anyway, that's a separate video. The alternator bracket, I'm pretty sure it's probably a video for that already. If there isn't, you guys need help with that, let me know. Because it breaks pretty commonly on these 3.5s. That little bracket, you know, right in here that holds the top bolt to the, to the uh, cylinder head. That breaks pretty commonly. So, if you need help with that, let me know. I'll make a video for that. I'll make a video for whatever you guys request. That's what I do. But anyway... Pretty nice car. I gotta replace the seats. I already found them on eBay. I'm gonna replace those. And then I'll go from there. The reason why I also saw it so cheap because it had a little bit of body damage too, but I can fix all that. Replace these. They're easy to replace if you know what you're doing. But other than that, it's not that bad. That these these she never cleaned the filters at all in this car. The cabin air filter was filthy. The uh, what do you call it? the blower motor fan? That thing was covered in leaves. When you cut it on, it was like really loud. Took that apart and did all that. I'll probably make a video on that too because you gotta take all this apart to get to that anyway. But I'm just cleaning it out right now. But anyway, let's get to this thing here. Now there's a cover. You see a kitty? Yeah. Can I go pet him again? Go pet him. Don't get in the water. Okay. Anyway, there's a cover over it like this. Not like this, but you know what I mean. In there. And you basically just want to grab that from back here. Grab that from back here. And then it, it pops loose. It has tabs on it. Pull that out. Then, oh, it's okay. Just ride your scooter. All right. Then you want to come in here, and you got three screws holding this filter on. Now, you can reach the bottom two pretty easily. One there. You can bend this out of the way. It's not going to hurt anything. Just bend it gently out of the way to reach that second screw. And then you have one on top. I already took that one out. The way to do that one is you can remove this whole center console if you want to. It's a lot of bolts and a lot of screws. I'm not doing all that. I'm just removing this front screw here and then this screw here. 
take those two out they're just little regular phillips head screws and then you want to get a longer screwdriver and come in here in the top you want to hold this back prop something against it or get somebody to hold it for you or something just hold it back don't break it just hold it you know until it's about tight tight so you can get enough room to get a screwdriver and the top screw in there you want to get the top screw in there and reach that take that out then you're done with that i get that one first then come from the bottom two and take those two out i should have got my drill for this i don't know why i'm doing this with a screwdriver take these bottom two out and then you have one more like i said move this little thing out of the way here just bend it a little bit it's on a, it's on a metal bracket it's not going to hurt anything you're not going to break it Ugh, I am definitely getting my drill when I put these back in because these screws are kind of long. So you get that second one out. You have a total of three. And then your filter is right there. That thing is filthy. There's your blower motor for the back row. Because the reason I'm doing this is we were riding this thing home and my kids are in the back saying, Daddy, I don't feel the air back here. So I knew exactly what it was. If you're anybody familiar with Honda SUVs. Look at that. That spot is where I touched it at. This thing was covered in dust. You can't even see light through it. People don't know about this stuff. They forget about it or they don't really know about it. And they wonder why their back is not blowing that cool. But if you got kids, they're going to want some AC and some heat back there and all that. So basically, you just want to get a brush or something to clean this thing off. Get a old toothbrush or, you know, a little whatever kind of brush you got. Just any kind of little brush. Clean all this stuff off. Then put it back in the same way you took it out. Three screws. Then a little cut in the two screws that hold this on. Then the, then the uh, little cover on the roof. I put on, put on the roof. Put that back in place. Then you're good to go. Well, by the way, I found an easy way to clean it without even um, using a brush. Just go to your sink and use your hose, your uh, faucet. Don't let the uh, wife see you doing this because she's probably going to kill you. <laughs> so just turn your water on. Take the filter, turn it upside face down, the clean side, and then just rinse it on out. Now, depending on how dirty yours is, you might have to scrub it a little bit, but mine's probably dirtiest as they, as they come. <laughs> and I'm using regular water. Just cold water works fine. Good to go. I might have to scrub the edges off though because they're not coming off but you get the idea it's probably an easier way to do it if they're just scrubbing it by hand you've got to clean these back vents make sure they get airflow too because uh you know in the summertime the back of the car gets hot these big suvs take longer to cool them so they need all the vents they can get I wish these cars had a vent on the third row but they don't because that would help even more I think the newer ones do the 2007 through what is that 13 14 I like that body style too but there we go you can see light again actually I'll probably clean a little better though with a brush anyway, but I got most of it off. But anyway. 
catch you on the next video. Put all that back together. It's that simple. And this applies also to pilots too. Because my, my 06 pilot I had it was the same thing. It did the same. It was the same same setup. These pilots and MGXs are, MGXs are pretty much the same thing. They're identical. The MGX is a little bit more luxury, but that's it. You know, a couple of little more luxury things. But the pilot, is, they, the same engine, same transmission, same everything. All-wheel drive, VTM4, all that stuff. They're identical. So, if you got any trash in here too, you want to go ahead and clean that out while you have a chance. Compressed air or something, or if you got any leaves or anything in there, you want to get all that cleaned out. It doesn't need to be perfect or anything, but you want to clean it so you can get the best, the best airflow in the back. Because this thing gets really dusty from, you know, your shoes, dirt, and feet, and all that stuff. So, mm. clean all that out real good. This thing is filthy. I don't think this thing has probably ever been cleaned. But, I'm going to clean this and put it back in, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. If you guys have any cars like this, MDXs, you want to, you know, you need a, uh, help on a, what do you call it, on a job, let me know, and I'll make a video for it. I'm always trying to add more videos to the channel. So, until next time. Peace.